Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk about the quote unquote good guy slash nice guy because a lot of men consider themselves the good guy. A lot of women tell themselves that they just want a regular, regular, nice guy. But what is a good guy, right? Who is the nice guy? Because there are a lot of discrepancies between what a man thinks is a good guy and what a woman experiences as a good guy. And those thought differences tend to show up the most in social media. Men say one thing, women say another, and then there's a lot of back and forth. Now, because my channel is about speaking to a woman's hypergamous nature and hypergamy in general, my definition of a good guy will be will always be connected to a man's ability to provide and a man who has a provider mindset. But first, let's get into what is typically considered a good guy by conventional standards. Uh, most people would say that a good guy slash nice guy is a guy that opens doors for women, a guy who loves his mother, a guy who can make you laugh, a guy who will uh, who will rub your feet at the end of a long day, a guy who like to who likes to take long walks in the park, right? A guy who can get creative with affordable dates, right? A guy who uh, a guy who texts you back, right? A guy who doesn't ghost you, right? A guy who doesn't abandon you. The quote unquote good guy is usually perceived as a variation of a simp. And for the most part, men are always saying that women don't like nice guys that women especially when they're younger are attracted to bad boys to players uh to scumbags to thugs to the guys who treat them like trash and to and I'll, to that i will say there's some truth uh but it doesn't tell the whole story women are wired to be attracted to excitement and sex energy is excitement right sex energy is power and with bad boys Women like the danger and the roller coaster ride of chaos that a bad boy can offer because women can get bored pretty easily, right? These are the facts of life. So the attraction to bad boys comes from not wanting to live a life of monotony and boredom. Women literally do not like to be bored to death. This is why women love gossip, right? Because it keeps us from uh, from living a life of boredom, right? It only It's only when a woman... Uh, gets that dark side out of her system and the earlier the better ladies that she realizes that the danger of a bad boy doesn't pay the bills that danger can literally put her life and her child's life in danger when a woman matures she realizes that bad boys are just mimicking power that bad boys are good at the facade of machismo that they're not good at accomplishment or providing security and stability which is why i really wanted to make this video because both so-called bad boys and the so-called good guy slash nice guy lose sight of the fact that women are ultimately drawn to men who can provide and protect. Uh, when you're under 25 ladies, it's cute when a guy is cute, right? When he has six pack abs and he's hung like a horse, but in the long run, women, whether he's a bad boy or a good guy, want a man that they can respect. And most men are not going to get the respect from women that they want when they can't provide and protect. When a man can provide and protect, that is the truest form of respect, love, and admiration that a man will ever get from his woman. So if he can't provide, he won't get respect. If he doesn't have a plan, he won't get respect. I don't care how nice he is. I don't care how kind he is. I don't care how smart he thinks he is. I don't care how creative he is. I don't care how wokey woke he is. I don't care how strong his black power fist is. I don't care if he's nice to your mama. I don't care if he takes out the trash and washes the dishes. I don't care if he cooks dinner and rubs your feet every night. If a woman is paying the bills and doing the heavy lifting and doing the providing, she will not respect that man. If a woman is paying 50-50, no matter how nice the guy is, she will not respect that man. In fact, she will quietly disrespect that man, right? But if she's paying, uh, because if she's paying 50% of the bills, she will give him 
50% of the respect. And men are wired to want 100% of the respect. If a woman is financially wearing the boxers and her man is financially wearing the panties, right? If he's wearing the panties or the diapers, she will be looking at the front door and looking for a way out. She will be disenchanted. And when a woman is disenchanted, she's going to be frustrated. She's going to be disappointed. And eventually she's going to fall out of whatever she fell in be it lust or love. A woman will never respect a man as long as she has to wear the boxers because if she's wearing boxers, what does she need him for? So the hypergamous definition of a good guy is a man who can provide for his wife and family. A good guy is a man that can back up his word and deed and action. A good guy is a man who leads his family by providing and protecting and by, make, and by making sure that his family is straight and doesn't want for anything. A good man is a man who can get a woman to trust his leadership because black women as a group, as a whole, do not trust black men. When a woman can trust a guy's leadership, she can breathe, she can exhale, she can relax, she can be her highest feminine, nurturing self, and she can wear her panties securely and comfortably because she knows that her man ain't wearing diapers. And that's the thing about the nice guy, ladies. A nice guy can be a freeloader. A nice guy can still cheat on you. A nice guy can still be broke. A nice guy can still lack ambition and drive. A nice guy can still be a deadbeat. A nice guy can still be as fake as Chinese chicken, right? A nice guy can still waste your time. A nice guy can still stifle a woman's life because he will try his best to seduce his woman into accepting less. And that works against a woman's hypergamous nature. Women by nature, do not want to accept less. You know, a nice guy slash good guy will tell his woman that money and material things don't matter. A nice guy will say that all that matters is love, right? A nice guy will tell you that you're being a gold digger or that you're being shallow because you're tired of eating Popeye's chicken on every date night. So ladies, be very careful about the nice guy slash good guy dynamic because Nice guys can be bums too. A bum is a bum, whether there's a cherry on top of it or not. Uh, right now, as I speak, there are women who have emailed me who are in relationships with the quote unquote nice guy. And men, you know, these men don't get the respect that they want, you know, because it is, you know, these nice guys, they don't understand a woman's hypergamous nature. A woman's hypergamous wiring might be delayed or underdeveloped. Uh, which is why you need to which is why you need to subscribe to this channel. Uh, but eventually, her hypergamous nature will kick in full throttle. Uh, there's only but so many dusty nice guy sandwiches that a woman can eat until she's uh, sick to her stomach. And you will be surprised at how many women end up resenting the good guy because he simply isn't a man she can respect. So that's all I have to say on the good guy slash nice guy issue for now. Uh, the term good guy is a tricky term that a lot of uh, overlooked men like to use to make themselves look like a, an appealing catch, right? Especially when they can't have access to the feminine and, a, and, a, and attractive women that they really want, which is why I encourage women to work on their femininity to attract masculine men. Uh, black women, you do not have to accept the status quo. But good guys are overlooked for a reason, and that reason is usually because they have lint in their pockets. And I find it interesting, I find it interesting that the quote unquote good guys are the first ones to bark online about women being old, washed up, hitting the wall, lonely, and past her prime. You know, that doesn't sound like something a nice guy or a good guy would say now does it, you know? So stay tuned for more videos to come and I will catch up with you in the next one.